You're taking a live look right now at beautiful Granite City. It's just a short drive across the Mississippi River in the Metro East. And as I discovered, Granite City is rich in tradition, but also looking to renew itself. Here's just some of the great things they have to offer in this week's Tisseltown. When people think of Granite City, the steel mill probably comes to mind, and rightfully so. It's a massive building. They employ over a thousand people. Generations have worked here. But there is so much more going on inside the 62040 zip code. Do you like the great outdoors? Well, there are 13 parks around the city. Wilson Park is the biggest of the ball. 74 acres, and you can do a bit of everything here. There are ball fields, a swimming pool, picnic area, a hockey rink, and fitness trails. Granite City has a rich sports history. Did you know that football Hall of Famer Kevin Green and basketball Hall of Famer Andy Phillip went to Granite City High School? There's a pool statue on the edge of downtown honoring Ruben Mendoza. He played on two U.S. Olympic teams and on two World Cup teams. Downtown Granite City isn't as busy these days as it was back in its heyday, but one woman is trying to change all that. Her name is Brenda Whitaker. She's an engine that don't stop, I'll tell you. <laughs> Brenda owns a few downtown businesses, including the Alfresco Art Center, the Garden Gate Tea Room, the Diner, and the Board Gamery. I kind of took that Field of Dreams approach. If you build it, they will come. My feeling is you have to try to find something unique that will keep bringing people back. It's like the mural on the side of her building says, nothing changes if nothing changes. While change can be good, people are happy that two things have stayed the same. Glick's department store has been around since 1897. Mr. Twist, has been serving up sherbet and ice cream for 42 years. We've watched kids and generations grow up. One more note about Granite City. It's often referred to as Six Mile. That's because it's six miles away from St. Louis. Now you know what makes Granite City a special place. It's just, it's good. It's a good town to live in. I ordered the 5D cheeseburger. And this week's Tisseltown. Be sure to join the Sizzle team tomorrow in Grand City. We're going to be downtown at the downtown diner at 8 o'clock for a cup of joe, maybe some breakfast. We hope to see you there.